A very unwelcoming way to greet the school year. Cottage Grove High School says it could take weeks to fix the vandalism that hit them overnight. Good evening. I am Brian Richardson in for Matt and Renee. Fortunately, surveillance video obtained today could help the school district identify the culprits. KEZI 9 News reporter Jessica Devis is live in the studio with more on those clues. Jessica? O'Brien, well, school staff was just hoping to work on some finishing touches today with school starting next week, but that all got pushed back to deal with the damage done to two entrances of their buildings. Now administration is looking closely at that surveillance video to see if they recognize the suspects and releasing it to us as well to see if you can help. Metal glass doors were completely blown out. The custodian met me at the door. She'd been cleaning up the glass um, for, uh, you know, almost an hour. While these photos are disheartening, it's these pictures that are incriminating. What's the sense in that? You know, they didn't come in and take anything. It was just a malicious act of vandalism. Video from the nearby Hidden Valley Golf Course shows what appears to be two young men trespassing onto the property early Friday morning. A couple minutes later, a golf cart speeds by in the corner of the screen. That same golf cart was found next to the early morning destruction at Cottage Grove High, days before students will kick off fall term. Everything looks really good, and then to have to deal with this now in a short period of time before we see kids next week on Wednesday. Uh, we won't be able to replace these doors for over a month. And until then, and about fifteen to $25,000 later, these openings will be boarded up. Not the most visually pleasing way to welcome this year's class, but the district hopes it's these visuals that will bring justice back to the halls. We don't have a lot of extra money sitting around in schools these days, and you know, any money that we do have, we like to target for kids. And the school is offering a $500 reward to anyone who has any information leading to arrests. The district says ever since we first aired the story on KEZI 9 News Midday, they've received at least one tip that they are looking into. Live in the studio, Jessica Davis, KEZI 9 News.